Dear brothers and sisters, right now, Hamas has become a symbol of fear for Israel, and with each passing day, this fear is increasing in the hearts of the Israeli soldiers. In this regard, the spokesperson of Hamas Abu Obaida is the most active person. According to various Western media reports, Abu Ubaida is also remembered as the media machine of Hamas. He plays a big role in making the world aware of Israeli injustices. This is the person who has not let the world forget about the Palestinian problems at the global level. Even about Abu Ubaida himself, no one in the whole world knows what is the real name of Abu Ubaida. In today's video, we'll quickly answer all those questions for you that have occurred for Palestinian fighters during the Palestine-Israel war. So please watch the video until the end for all the answers. Brothers and sisters, the current Palestine-Israel war is unique because Hamas with just a few thousand fighters is facing Israel, which has a large military force and the latest weapons. On the other hand, Hamas fighters don't have the latest weapons and they are not in greater numbers either. Despite this, Gaza has become a graveyard for Israeli forces. Since the start of the war from October 7th, numerous incidents have occurred that indicate Allah's help and support is with the fighters of Hamas. And because of these miracles, there is intense discouragement and low morale among the Israeli soldiers. On the other hand, due to these miracles, the morale of Muslims is extremely high. Hamas military spokesperson Abu Ubaida has repeatedly said in media interviews that we are often very close to most of the armed Israeli forces and their latest weapons to the extent that escaping becomes not just difficult but nearly impossible for them. Despite this, the Israeli soldiers are unable to see us and we successfully attacked them and retreated. He also mentioned that Israel's highly advanced weapons often fail to accurately target the fighters and many times it has happened that even if the ammunition fired by Israel has hit the target, it has failed, and it didn't explode. In the last few days, the statement of the Israeli soldiers came in this regard. Some Israeli soldiers have said that those who have attacked us do not seem human at all. They were a different creature. The soldiers say that they were satisfied and calm from every aspect because they had modern weapons. And if any enemy even came near us, we would know, but nothing appeared on the screens of our modern systems and we were attacked. There are many Israeli soldiers who were attacked by unknown sources in such a way that even they are in a state of shock and they are unable to tell anyone what actually happened to them. In this regard, Abu Obaida has also released several videos who are dedicated to the power of faith, are reaching right next to the Israeli tanks and planting bombs on them with their hands. But the soldiers sitting inside has no idea that a fighter has come to him and planted a bomb on his tank. Let me tell you that the Israeli tanks are considered the most advanced tanks in the world. They are designed to provide protection from every angle. Despite these advanced systems, they couldn't inform the soldiers inside and they became victims of military casualties. Speaking to the media, Abu Obeda has also said that so far, we have destroyed more than 250 Israeli advanced Merkava tanks while more than 1,500 Israeli army military vehicles have also been destroyed or disabled. It's crucial to know that from October 7th until now, Israel has dropped over 22,000 tons of bombs on Gaza. If these bombs were dropped on any other city, more than 80% of that city's population would have been killed or destroyed by now. Throughout this period, the number of Palestinian martyrs should have been at least in the hundreds. Despite that, from October until the current date, there are more than 17,000 Palestinian martyrs and almost 50,000 injured. Despite such brutal bombings, the low number of casualties indicates that Allah's help is with the Palestinian people and miraculously, they managed to escape such savage bombings. We pray to Allah to protect Palestine and grant them victory. And we request you to share this video as much as possible so that more people can support Palestine. And to watch more such videos, please subscribe to our channel.